bring a feast and build their own guest house. These are very generous guests. Avon! You have arrived just in time. Is it Siegerblood already? The days are long and the nights are warm and lit with fires. And it marks the beginning of raiding season. <laughs> we still need to finish gathering offerings for the gods so we can earn their favor. With their blessing, we will have calm waters, good winds, and much bounty. Gunnar must be busy forging weapons and armor. Yes. He asked to bring in an extra set of hands. Svinta has already set up her forge by the training ground. But weapons are not the only tools of war, Eivor. You must train your mind as you train your body. Eager to see what this mind training will look like. I would show you around, but I need to get my offering ready for the bonfire. Check around the settlement to see what's needed. Perhaps you can make yourself useful. Am I not already useful? Oh, be sure to say hello to Norvik. But first, take this torch and mark the beginning of the festival. She looks young to be raiders. Are they raiders? A strange That is a good thought. Is that everything? This feast has to be great. Yes, it is our last chance. Wolf kissed. Welcome to Ravensthorpe. I'm Eivor, though you seem to know me already. You are well known to us. I am Toka Sinrik's daughter, and the Frankish boar with me is my advisor, Pierre. We are here on behalf of Siegfried of Francia, renowned warrior and leader of the Northmen there. You look to be at home here already. How could we not be? What you have done in this place is amazing. The guest house is a fitting addition. We have also brought new tastes for your long table from Frankia. If it is drink you prefer, we have mulled wine. Very generous. Some might say overly generous. Consider it a token of goodwill from the hand of my uncle Siegfried. You know, clan to clan. That would be blood if any here heard I refused a feast. So, consider it accepted. <laughs> yes, you honor us. Ravensthorpe reminds me of how Frankia used to be. Given the chance, I would visit often. And you would be welcome. Yet, you do not share your gifts for nothing. I await the boon you surely will ask of me. Tales of your judgment prove true. You can teach me some of that wisdom over ale this day. Shall we begin? Let us see if these Frankish treats hold up to scrutiny. Let us eat! One can prefer ale to wine. Mon dieu, it astounds me still. You Norse may have us Franks on the battlefield, but when it comes to drink, we stand unbeaten. If it makes me drunk, I'm glad to drink it. Are there no standards anymore? <laughs> I want to show you something.
In our travels throughout England, I have taken swords in raids and battles. This I took in a home gang against two oafish brothers in East Anglia. This by the wound twig, but is still my favorite. So you've traveled to all corners of this land before arriving at Ravensthorpe. To what end? I mean to entice you and others like you to join in the glorious raids along the River Seine. Who have you talked with thus far? Many. Jarl Heminger, Guthrum, even Hofton. Paris itself is set to be sieged. And after that, we will have amassed more riches than anyone in England has dared imagine. Let me guess how many Jarls will join you on your Frankish raids and sieges. None. They just fail to see the scale of the bounty we stand to plunder. What do you really want, Toka? Every word I have said is true. But there is something else. A new power is rising in Francia. What kind of power? The Frankish kingdoms have been united under one king, Charles the Fat. And with this combined strength, Charles has begun a slow march against the Norse villages there. He killed my father and wiped out my village. I am sorry for your father and your village. But we have our own troubles here in this land. With Charles the Fat in power, those troubles will worsen. After his campaign in Francia, he will come for England. Charles will come for you and your clan. His armies multiply by the day. Real soldiers and cavalry, not like the Saxon farmhands and gillers in these parts. If the Raven clan were to help you, what is it you would ask of us? Our chieftain, Siegfried, prepares to siege Paris and make the Franks rethink their actions against we Norse. And our longships will grow heavy with treasure in the doing. My scouts attest to the claims of Toka and her people. But before now, I saw no reason to involve our clan. Do you see reason now? If the mad King Charles does have ambitions for England, we should act. The sick threats he mentioned. He rallies the Norse there. Joining him could be our chance to push back against this new king. Or I could meet this Charles myself. And if he will not deal with me, I kill him. This problem is bigger than one king. If we kill one, another will rise. Were he murdered by a Norse from England, it could bring the Franks to our shores even sooner. Then I will be mindful of who I kill and who I ally with in Francia. Could be a stable king is the way to keep Ravensthorpe safe. Let me see the sword. I wish to examine the ironwork. No, I stole this and it is mine. Fine. If you will not show it to me, I will have to take it. Ready yourself, Pierre. I challenge you to a home gang. Enough. Toka, you came here looking for help with this new Frankish threat. And the Raven clan will answer your call. You will? You will! I promise you will not regret this. Find Pierre when you have prepared, and we will make for Francia at once. Thank you. to find Pierre when I'm ready to travel to Francia. Wolfkist! I hope your head does not ache like mine. What a night. But we should leave for Francia soon. Pierre! Ready to leave for Francia when you are. I'm ready.
Thrakia, the land of Charlemagne and the bitter prize of Ragnar, who sacked Paris for a fortune in silver and sorrow. Now a new king rises, uniting Franks against Norse in open battle, and casting angry eyes toward England. I must stop this mad king from sending war across the sea. Already his armies assemble, and crows gather again over Paris. Welcome to Francia! What? No sniveling emissary from King Charles to greet us. Believe me, Wolfkist, you will feel the warmth of his welcome soon enough. The Mad King did this. We all had a part in it. what he would bring to Ravenstorm. It is. We are almost there, but we cannot take the longship around Paris as the Franks' bridges block the way. Our village is inland. We will take the horses from here. The others will follow on foot. Is there danger of an ambush? Not this close to the water, and not at night. Siegfried has done his work too well. I will finish unloading the ship. You two go ahead. Many thanks, Pierre. And Eivor. There is something we should talk about when I arrive at Melun. Until then, ride safe. Mount up. The ride is not long. How will I face Siegfried? He entrusted me to gather axes. He wants me to lead one day, but I failed even this. The failure was not all yours, Tuka. The failure was not all yours, Tuka. Jarls are ever busy with their own concerns. Ah, just give me strong ale and a good fight. What else matters? Frankish scouts. They have been watching us closely of late. What do you think it means, Eivor? That Siegfried has not finished his work yet. Siegfried will not be finished until there are no more Franks left to fight. Scouts have been gnawing at our heels ever since Charles forced us from the north. He pushes hard against your people. You might have to leave sooner than you expect, Toga. I may not be the best one to do it. I see the longhouse. We are almost there. Welcome to Milan. We should find Siegfried. Mm. Toka, you have returned. All went well, I hope. Are the others you brought coming behind you? I need to find Siegfried. Of course. Well, uh, you will find him where he always is. Ah, yes. He will be at the burial grounds, staring into the mist. It is where he begins most days. This way. Grounds. Simric, my father, lies there with the others. We should go. There's something calming about this place. It is a beautiful land. Or would be if it was not filled with Franks. There is Siegfried. You go ahead. He may not be happy to see me return with so few allies. I will not, Brad. Will be redeemed. I swear. Siegfried. 
came was kissed. Good. You knew it was me. Pierre sent word ahead. Your axe will be a boon to us. I heard your axe has been busy as well. Yes, I've slain many on the open field with honor, as Odin intended. It is our way. But it is not their way. The Franks dragged our Jarl Sinric from his bed and gutted him like a coward. They did not even bury him, just left his body for the animals to take. I raised this mount for him. You want me to join your side against these Franks? There is no side. There is only blood debt and vengeance and Helheim for those I split with my axe. How dangerous are these Franks? What do they want? Do you not understand? They want us as Sinric, dead and dishonored. But I will teach them what honor means. Now we will feast. And I will tell you of my plans for Paris. This is Vidar, a more noble beast I have never known. The God of Vengeance. The God of Vengeance. It is a good name. Many Franks have met their end beneath his iron hoofs. He hates them almost as much as I do. You placed a carving at Sinric's grave. Sinric won it from me in the home gang when we were children. It is Eichthirni, who watches over Odin's hall in Valhalla. He was holding it when I found him. It was the only way I knew him after the animals had gotten to his body. Ours will be the greatest raid since Ragnar sacked Paris and brought longships full of silver back to King Horik. We will fill our war chest with silver and our muds with mead. Blood and glory! Skull! This is not just about silver, Torka. He hates being disturbed while he eats. You know, Ragnar returned with more than just silver. More than silver? What was it? Swords, precious jewels, wine! Stories of a dead saint defending Paris. Horik was so awed, he freed the Christians and executed his raiders. Really? That does not sound glorious. Behold, I will deliver thine enemy into thine hand, that thou mayest do to him as it shall seem good to thee. Kill the heathens! Bring me Sigfred's head, and that one as well! Leave the stripling alive to tell of it! The what?! Bishop Engelwyn, this is a good night. Oh shit. I should be cautious around here. <laughs> Horses give them advantage, but it will not be enough. Where did Engel and go? Siegfried, wait! What did he say to you? Toka, see to the wounded and find the watch! They should have warned us of the attack. I told you he doesn't like to be interrupted while eating. 
We needed that soldier alive to question. Wild heart, level head. Oh, I like that. Where is Siegfried going? My guess is to find that bishop, Engelwin. He hates him above all others. It was he who killed Sinric. Yes, his sword brother, and your father. I'm sorry, Toga. Nothing has changed. If anything, the attacks grow more frequent, as you see. Ranvi was right. I have to stop this before it reaches Ravensthorpe. <sighs> Unless you can convince their king to surrender, you may have to kill every soldier in Francia. This battle will not be won with axes. I must find a way to meet Charles. Convince him not to attack England. Remember, Charles murdered Gottfried. He will not honor his word. Better to kill him. The problem is bigger than one king, Toga. I must talk to him. It is what my clan expects. You may be right. But I am not the one you will have to convince in the end. If you kill Engelwin, Siegfried might be persuaded to help you find Charles. You begin to think like a Jarl, Toka. Twice our scouts followed Engelwin to the slums south of Paris. When you are ready, that is where Siegfried will be. I will meet Siegfried there and return when Engelwin is dead. Then, we will find Charles. Evor, over here! Siegfried has his way, there will not be a single Frank left in these hills by winter. He hates them, that is certain. Uh, did you see him? And the poor soul to eat. Arms for a poor man. Have mercy. How did you find me? Where is Toka? Toka guessed you would be here. She is still at Milan, looking for your missing watch. Uh, I lost Engelwin, but this soldier told me he is heading for the church nearby. Come, we can go through the slums. Ah, even from here I can smell the piss of the slums. Secret, I mean to stop this fight from coming to England. I must meet with Charles. For what? You cannot bargain with these thralls. Have you forgotten my fallen brother, Sinric? No, and that is why I must try. It is why I came to Frankia. If I kill Engelman, I want you to help me get an audience with the king. There is no reasoning with you, Wolfkist. You are as wild as your namesake. In our veins runs the blood of holy kings and conquerors! The northerners may have numbers, but we have God! That is Odo, Count of Paris and right-hand man to the king. Drumming up support for his army, no doubt. Our courage and honor will not fail us, no matter how hot the fight. We will overcome this evil, as we always have! Self-important as always. The one next to him is Gosselin, Bishop of Paris and a fearsome warrior. For a Frank. Those two are for another day. You have to get to Engelwin, and to do that, you have to find your way into the church. The answer is down there in that stink. That is not much to go on. If it was easy, I would have killed him myself already. You have an advantage. You are unknown to these... The Raider Siegfried is almost at our gates! And what does he want? What the Northerners always want! Blood and silver! Yours and mine! Me, they know quite well already. Someone down there knows something. All you have to do is get them to tell you. I have your word. Once this is done, we find Charles. 
As you say, but work fast. I cannot leave me long guarded long. This Frankish stench already turns my stomach. Three guards, insulting. I will deal with them. While you find Engelwyn, he is hiding in his church. Will you sneak in? Convince one of his own to aid you? Or cover the streets with blood? As you would? They deserve no less. But you are the wolf kissed. You do not need my advice. So what will you do? I will find my own way. The guards are heavily armed. I should be careful here. the owner. Oh no. <laughs> That's such a naively hopeful world. What can I get you? You have a good crowd. If you mean tables of soldiers drowning themselves in wine at my expense, then <laughs> yes, it's good enough. It might be better if not for that old drunk over there. Crying about the bishop to everyone who listen. <sighs> I'd send him away, but to be honest, I need his business. I need to find the bishop. <laughs> the bishop? I can tell you he's not in this mud pit, my friend. He wouldn't risk soiling his holy sandals. There is a priest who does the bishop's numbers in here at times. Last I saw, he was talking to a table of soldiers. Thanks for the help. You look the kind that enjoys a good complaint. You'll be back. Why nuisance lips as well as ale? Someone at the tavern might know something that will get me into the church. Someone needs to report back to the bishop. Tell him the nosy scrap. What does the bishop and his soldiers want with my daughter? You mentioned the bishop. Oh, he took her, my daughter. She's gone. She's a good girl. Never any trouble. She wouldn't steal anything. Who took your daughter? Was it the bishop? The bishop's soldiers in the slums. Said she stole the bishop's silver. That she has a devil who needs deliverance. Raja? What did you say? I will find your daughter here in the slums. And she will help me find Engelwyn. I could look for the drunk's daughter at the slums. I'll see if there's more to learn here. For a servant of God. He has a terrible temper. I'm looking for a priest who helps the bishop with his numbers. A church scribe. You as well. He's popular today. It must be serious if it's bringing you all down here. We don't get many visitors. Someone else was looking for him. Guards from the city. He didn't seem too pleased to see them. They got to arguing, then all left toward the sewer. Tell me where the sewer is. Just over the rise. Be careful, though. With all those plagued bodies, it's not clean and smells to high heaven. Here. 
soldiers must have taken the striving side. The bodies here are decayed and falling apart. This body has rotted in the water. It has been down here a long time. Blurred by the water, but this is a list of some kind. It must have come from the scribe. was close. You're welcome. Your father told me the bishop took you. My father? Yeah, the bishop's soldiers. I didn't steal nothing neither. Then they wanted to give me deliverance. You stole from the bishop. That was bold. I just said I didn't, didn't I? Well, I didn't take no silver. It was just a little church key. I want that key. So did the soldiers. But you are too late. I sold it to bandits in the sewers. They got it cheap, too. My reward for helping you is to fight bandits. You are welcome. Good luck. The sewers stink. I have to get to my father before he is thrown out of the tavern again. <laughs> this must be the sewers. Christian cross cast into its bow. This is a church key. Thank <laughs> you. 
Dead their sword's chores for KOC here. It can't be. Are you here for deliverance? Y yes. I, I don't know. I want to be close to God, but those screams don't seem right. Does it seem right to you? Your deliverance ritual, it is with Ingoan. Uh, yes. He does it alone. I, I'm next in line and I, I don't think I want this. I could take your place and see Ingoan for you. And then you could leave. Tell me what I must do. You need a robe. They won't let you in without their special robe. Then, you go down the corridor and talk to the priest. Give me a robe. My robe? But, but they gave me one, but um, I didn't put it on. I, I left it somewhere around here. I will find it and take your place. You should leave now before they call for you. Yes. Y yes, you're right. Uh, as soon as my nerves settle, I'll go. It can't be right. Uh, Bishop Engelwin didn't say anything about this. It's what I see the robe I need. It is well made. I need to find Bishop Engelwin. Do you know where he is? If you are here for deliverance, you have a long wait. My brother has been upstairs waiting for hours now. I see you are ready for the ritual. Take this key. Prepare your heart and when you are ready, enter through this door. The bishop is waiting for you. Welcome, traveler. Your eyes are covered, yet you see me. Justice and innocence are both blind, yet see more clearly for it. Find them, light the way, and see the treasures of God. God is light, and in him is no darkness at all. The way through darkness to your deliverance is clear when it is lit by God. It is a riddle. The way to deliverance. That was me and Engelman. That is one. The nun said lights. There must be another. That is two. Justice and innocence light the way. Without them, we are blind. Naked you came from your mother's womb, and naked you will return. Enter here now, naked and alone. Enter the tomb. We cannot begin until you are cleansed by the ritual. Come, my child. Like the. Come. Do you know why you are here, child? Yes. You have been chosen for a great honor. Yet being chosen is only the beginning. What we do now won't be pleasant. Remember, the Lord has said, Unto whomsoever much is given, of him shall be much required. Yes, I remember. Others showed themselves unworthy, as you have seen. My hope is you will fare better. I will. Mm, your confidence speaks well of you. Once we begin, we cannot stop. I will not heed your cries, 
Your soul depends on it. The devil will not endure the pain, so you must. Do you understand? Yes, I understand. We may discover in the pain that there is a delicious pleasure. Hmm. God himself grants it as a mercy to aid us in the struggle. Now, make yourself ready. This robe. And do not leave the pool until I grant you leave. I am to be unclosed. Do not be concerned for modesty. Once you comply, my guards will leave, and we will be alone for the ritual. Very well. Guards, leave us. Very good. You have made the correct choice. And now, we will begin. Accept. I beseech thee, this free will offering, O oh Lord. Tavern Keep. I'm looking for some company. Northerner. A strapping youth like you has appetites of equal measure, I'm sure. And any other time, I'd be happy to help. Why not now? It's locked off. A special visitor, you understand. You'll have to try your luck with the amateurs here. Is any visitor really so important that you would refuse honest custom? That's a reasonable question, one which I can't answer for the sake of my head. Which is an answer of sorts, if you think on it. I would really like to change your mind. If your need is that great, you can try talking to the door guard. He's at the bottom of the stairs. Perhaps Silver will help. You know, it just might. You're not going to get in the front door. But as with most things in Paris, there's another way. Go on. That big tree outside the front door might be worth your attention. You didn't hear anything from me, though. My thanks. Here's a moment.
Yes, my holy queen. You are sinner and saint. My confessor. And my lover. How I admire and desire you. Are you real? Oh, what are you? Another Diablo? Not an enemy. Not yet. I am Eivor of the Raven Clan in England. <sighs> Flesh and blood. A northerner by the look of you. Why do you disturb me? Where are my guards? Your guards are not coming. Your bishop will not be joining us either. <laughs> Engelwyn, you've done me a favor, Northerner, though you don't know it. That bishop was an unholy annoyance. What is it you want? Your soldiers strike at Norse villages. Their attacks grow more common by the day. You make war against us, without cause. <laughs> without cause? This is my land. A kingdom established by God. You are invaders and devils, a scourge I am called to cleanse. My cause is God himself. War is uncertain and dangerous. Often it begins in one place, only to end unfavorably in another. War is war. But you mean England. Oh, yes. I understand you, Diablo. You came to plead for your own neck. I came to make an agreement to save many necks. Perhaps even your own. You murder your way into another land, and you think to stop me driving you back out with negotiation? I am a king. You are a godless invader. Who are you to parley with me? I am one who might have killed you already, yet you live. <laughs> Perhaps this is opportune. What do you think? Could it work? Hmm. It might work. There is something I require. If you accomplish it, I will be more open to consider your proposal. A deal within a deal. How like a king. What is this task? My queen, Richardis has been taken. I want her return to me. I assume I must first find her. My spies tell me she was taken by those belonging to a zealous faction within the church. I know nothing more. You do not seem overly troubled by her absence. Marriage for kings is more often a matter of politics than of the heart. In any case, I doubt she is in danger. And you can be certain, I want her safe return. If I do this, you will agree to leave England in peace. Peace? <laughs> That's a strange word in the mouth of an invader. But again, you presume too much. Do this, and you will have earned a place at the negotiation table. Nothing more. When 
we next meet, it will be with your queen, to discuss your ambitions for England. As you say, Diablo, God will make it so. Now, you must excuse me. Wolf kissed. You are gone over long. We've had trouble. Engelman is dead. Though there is a sickness in these Franks, I do not understand. That is very good. It is as I told you. You see now why it is pointless to try to deal with them. Yet I must. Information with him led me to their king. Charles and I have reached the beginnings of an agreement. You met with their king? Do you make yourself my enemy now? Toka failed to bring me any but you, and now you defy me! You said there was trouble. There was another attack, and we found our missing watch. Curse those raven starvers, I will gut every one of them! You might have helped prevent this. Why? What has happened? You will see what it is you are so eager to make peace with. Toka will show you. I have our revenge to plan. Come with me, Wolfkist. You remember our missing watch? While you and Siegfried went after Engelwin, I searched for them. But they were gone. After the second attack, we found them. What do you mean? Where were they? Come and see. Look. These wounds were not made by the sword, or by animals. It is the Franks. You said yourself, there is a sickness in them. There is no honor in what they do. These were my friends. I have seen this before. People disappear sometimes. When they return, they are like this. Toka, I need your help. Charles asked me to find his queen. If I can, I might stop this sickness reaching England. The queen was at Evreux yesterday, in the company of priests. You will find her there. You think all I do is drink wine and bed handsome men and beautiful women? Merde. I have eyes all over Francia, and they see many things. Some of those things I must attend to now. When you are ready, Evor, come and see me. I have a proposal for you. Siegfried is right, Wolfkist. Even with this proof of the Franks' cowardice before you, you still want to bargain with them? I will not go against my uncle. I am sorry. I cannot help you in this. You're right. Your duty is to your own clan, Toka. My duty is to mine. It is why I came to Frankia. I will go to Evre alone. When you are done in Evreux, meet us at our forward camp, west of Paris. We have a siege to prepare. Charles's army is from England. I must find his queen. She was seen with priests at Evra. That is where I must go. By the grace of God, little mother is here to aid us. She is almost ready to begin. Make your way to the church. They're gathering somewhere. They might know something about the queen. 
sit where you can. Little Mother will soon begin. The dark waters covered me. Then his holy light came and, oh, the glory of his brightness. You will recall the miracle of Saint Orinus, how he raised the burned girl back to life. As a child, I too was burned and near to death. At his altar, the saint appeared, touched me, and I was healed. Time could not corrupt the saint's holy body. He touched me so that now I might touch you. Loki himself could not tell a better story. God Shh. is light. But what have you done in his light? All are turned to their own way and gone astray into darkness. The devil has hold of your thoughts, your hearts, your very bodies. No one is safe, whether you are pauper, king, or Queen, choose this day whom you will serve, for judgment is coming, and with it comes either deliverance or damnation. Let us pray. <clears throat> This little mother knows something about the Queen. I need to find her. Have you seen my husband? He should have been back from the... You're troubled. It's my husband. He went for deliverance and hasn't come back. It's been days. Oh, it's all my fault. Tell me about deliverance. My husband was going to leave me, but he loves me. The devil got into him somehow. We sent him to Aquila for a deliverance ritual. Little mother said it would rid him of the devil. The rituals happen at Aquila. Yes. Little mother has a sanctum there. Oh, my poor husband. Do you think he's okay? I think you should prepare for the worst. And pray to your God for the best. <gasps> yes. I must pray. I must pray. I should go to Aquila where rituals are being done. They have a tavern. I should see if anyone there knows where to find little mother. That nun got her fancy prisoner. Shh. We are not supposed to talk about it. Do you not fear God? Tavern Keep, I'm new here. Can you tell me about little mother? Oh. Her deliverance rituals are all these drunkards talk about. Isn't that right, Bastion? You lad mouth shot. <laughs> <laughs> Take a seat, Narsoner. Bastien's buying, and he'll tell you all about it. Right, Bastien? That's me, all right. Bastien's a loud mouth. Bastien's a drunk. And let's not forget, Bastien's a drink buyer, eh, hey, barkeep? Sit down, Northerner. I'll buy you a drink, too. Really? You have well, us well. at an advantage, Northerner. Where do you hail from? I just got in from Milan. Milan? You're not one of Siegfried's, are you? I'm just passing through, friend. Do not go through Aquila! That's where they take the poor fools for deliverance. They might take you too! <laughs> tell me about Little Mother and her deliverance rituals. I can tell you it's a lot of extra work for us. Since she got her special prisoner, it's worse. Shh! Bastia! We can't speak of God's business. A special prisoner. Someone close to the king, they say. A woman, no less. Mon dieu, Bastien! 
Ah, but we cannot speak of that, lest God hears us. Drink up, my friends! Bastien is buying! It would be wise to cover up. The less attention I draw, the easier it will be to find the Queen. taught you that song? I made it up myself. It's about the delivery hunts they do at the creep. I think they must have delivery at this deer, too. The creep? You mean the crypt? Yeah. I see people go there all the time, but I'm not allowed. Mother says the gods will beat me if I go too close. I will have a talk with those crypt gods. Be careful. Don't talk to little mother. She'll give you a delivery hunts and you'll end up like the deer. Mother won't hurt her. It isn't right. Oh, you startled me. You are one of the new assistants? Good. That is good. Yes, I have been sent to help. You've picked a bad time. They have the queen in there. It doesn't seem right. I, I don't think I can do it. I will. Tell me what to do. Really? Okay. Little Mother needs her knife dipped in sacrificial blood. It is on the table. Then you must take it to her. All right. I'll prepare the knife and take it to Little Mother. You stay here. The knife is well made. But the edge is dull. It would not cut easily. I need to dip it in the blood. Deliverance seems to come at a high price. Knife is covered with the blood. I can use it to get close to Little Mother while keeping the Queen safe. If I attack openly, they could kill the Queen. I need to find a way to get close to her without raising suspicion. Scriptures, Euphrasia. Where do they instruct you to do such things? My instruction comes from God, as you will soon see. That is the Queen, and she's being held by Little Mother. Those are her elite guards. Best not to try to take them head on. Maybe I can find a way to distract them. Oh, 
have the key to the cage. Opening it would create a distraction. with my knife, your deliverance will begin. You should know, your majesty. I am only God's instrument. Is your knife God's instrument, too? I can... Ah, here is my assistant with my knife. We can begin. I am little mother, touched by Saint Orinus, chosen by God. You are just another royal brood mare, mated to a king she doesn't love. In your bitterness, you turn him against God. You see, your majesty, you can hide nothing from a true servant of God. God himself knows I do not try. That is a lie. You speak for the devil now, do you know that? But we will cut him right out of you. Then we will get to the truth, you and God and I. Put your faith in that. Assistant, my knife. She was not always like this, and too young for such bitterness. Your methods are uncompromising, but your coming was God's doing. You are a northerner, aren't you? I am Eivor of the Raven Clan, and I am not here because of any god. I am here because your husband, the King, sent me. Charles sent you for me? There's no time. We have to find a way out before we are discovered. I know a way. Follow me. I did not thank you for rescuing me. It was a brave thing to do. It was not bravery. I'm only here because I have an agreement with Charles to return you to him. Rats! The plague brought them. The vermin have no shortage of food here. Oh. We are blocked in. The wall is weak. been used by God today. Do not doubt it. But I have to go now. There is somewhere I must be. It was not your God who freed you. It was me. And I did it only to return you to your husband. That is where we are going. You think because you did something it was not God? God used a donkey once. He can use anyone. Even you. Nevertheless, I'm taking you to Charles. It is not me Charles wants. I can trust you. I know it. I perceive God working something strange through you. I will show you what Charles seeks. You could be trying to deceive me. Yes, I suppose I could. But I am not. Do you really not see the strangeness in all this? That it must be God. I see only that your God makes it so you can never be wrong. <laughs> I like you, Eva. I can see why God chose you. And why we should be friends. We will go together. <laughs> huh? 
I mean to bargain with your husband, the king. But he is a complicated man. You're being diplomatic. Charles was not always as he is now. When he was a boy, he fell into fits of madness. His keepers believed him possessed. And put him through a ritual. His conversion afterwards was sincere. So he gained a terrible fear of fire. When we met, he was honorable and pious. I sound proud of Charles. You loved him. Do I? Yes, in a way. But we have never been a normal husband and wife in private. Does he not love you? It is not him. I could never be what he needed. But he is a man and found solace elsewhere. Often. The nun, little mother, was going to kill you. Perhaps. Her deliverance rituals were brutal and cruel. Few survived. Euphrasia belonged to a secret group that believes Francia has fallen into apostasy. She thought me possessed. The Bishop Engelwyn was part of this group, I think. You know of Engelwyn? Yes. They call themselves Bella Torres Dei. God's warriors. And there are more of them. We have arrived. There is Bernard. You've brought me all this way to see a child. Yes. Charles has a son. <laughs> Little bear. We saw this. You're safe. God protects me. Never doubt that, child. Bernard, this is Eivor, a friend. Go now and wash yourself. You've got more color on your shirt than on the canvas. He paints beautifully for a child, don't you think? He called you by your first name. Yes. It seems odd for a child, I know. But I am not his mother. Nothing else felt right. Bernard is not your son. How could he be? Yet I love him as if he was. As I said, Charles and I were never that way. But he is a man and a king. Naturally, he found other places to satisfy his appetites. From that came Bernard. You're hiding the boy from his father. Charles wants Bernard to succeed him to the throne. And Bernard wants nothing else but to please his father. That is why I must keep Bernard from him. He will lead the child down a dark path. One not meant for a good king. My agreement with Charles was only to return with you. The child need not be involved. And I will not let him be. Bernard knows to find a church if he needs help and I am not there. I must leave again for a while. When I return, I want to hear your Latin verbs. I know you're going to see Father without me. I'm not stupid, you know. By keeping Bernard from Charles, you hope to prevent him becoming king. You misunderstand me, Eivor. Bernard must assume the throne for the good of Francia. You see what Charles has become. Bernard is young, but will make a good ruler. One that will be more sympathetic to your people, also. If Charles wants the child, he will not be pleased to see you without him. I hope that is not true. Charles knows the Bella Torres took me. He would be concerned. We have not been on good terms lately. But he sent you to free me. Perhaps he wishes to be reconciled. That bear is wounded. Wait. If it is wounded, it is dangerous. It is all right. Shh. Oh, what have you done to yourself? There. God is with you. Be more careful now. Off you go. They are noble animals. She had given up. She is all right now. Thanks to God. Are all bears so tame in Frankia? 
All of God's beasts respond to love, Eva. Even more so when they are hurt. In that, they are not so different to people. You have the gift with beasts. But you're speaking of Charles now. You think the same is true even of him? Especially of him. We are here. Charles' camp. Fulfilled our agreement. Here's your wife, the Queen. She is unharmed. Charles. My dear wife. Finally, you appear before me. You must want for refreshment after your long and complicated journey. You are still angry. It is from nothing, Charles. I have been as faithful to you as I have been to God. I am sorry for taking Bernard, but. Ah, yes, my son. I thought by finding you, I would find him. But I do not see him. Where is Bernard? Safe. <laughs> do you remember the night we met? I've never forgotten it. The sky was clear and awash with thousands of stars. The night of our wedding, it was the same. I took it as a sign from God. I knew you and I were meant to be. You were in white. All purity and grace. I thought, tonight, I am not the prince. I am the luckiest man alive. How lucky to take a wife who fell so easily into another's bed. You did not take me as your man. But as your fool. Shall no. To our marriage. We had a deal. Oh. Do not be concerned about Bernard de Chardis. He is my son. Without your interference, he will find me. And you, Northern Devil who presumes to sit at a negotiating table with a Frankish king. Here is your deal. You lied to me. I did not lie, Diable. I said God would make it so. And so he has. I will take care of you. Stay hit. No let go. Coming for you! To get what they do not say they want. I failed to mention everything about Charles. I'm sorry. The truth is awkward and I did not see the need. He believes you to be unfaithful. There is no end to his accusations. I hoped he had come to himself. Do you think he really meant to kill us? Yes. Now Paris will fall. Charles has made certain of that. Siegfried was right. Don't despise Charles. Like that bear, he may yet recover with God's help and become your ally. I do not share your faith in your god or your husband, but you carry both with a rare honor. Thank you. That is a high compliment. For my part, I don't think God has finished with you yet. We were meant to meet. Now, I must find Bernard. We will go to the Paris slums and aid the sick. Charles will not look for us there. I must go meet Siegfried at the forward camp in Paris. I have a seat to prepare. 
and pride to swallow. God exalts the humble, Eivor of Raven Clan. You will see. Farewell for now. Let's brace my hood here. <laughs> we know you are crazy, but why three? One for me, one for my horse, and one for my axe. <laughs> Long, night to the Long ships on the shore, as beautiful as swans. More like wolves circling for the kill. True. This is no raid. When we get inside those walls, what happens, Eivor? You have fought before. Bled. Killed. Yes, but... There are children in that city. They cannot flee. When the wind is right, I can hear them yelling. Playing games. There need not be a slaughter. We may still persuade the Franks to yield. Though I am unsure of the best way. Tell this to Siegfried. Tell me what? We're here. They see our strength. Let them give up their silver, sign the treaties, and we sail home. To gain fame and wealth this way is good. Count Odo leads the Franks in Paris, yes? Aye, he defends the city and draws other nobles to cause. I can talk to this Odo. No more talk. The High One says, "'Tis better to live than to die, that the dead till no fields." Quote the old father at me. I shall burn Paris, with or without you. You have lost thanes enough. Would you rule a wasteland? Go then. Talk Count Odo out of his silver, if you can. I will at that. Toka, where is the Zodo? You might pick up his trail at Ponce's era, but go with stealth. That is enemy ground. And Eivor, this Odo is no willow reed. He does not bend in the wind.
should be at his manor. One with red flowers. Hold, the stranger. Who goes there? Pardon me, my lady, but I seek an audience with Count Odo. I see. But my husband is busy recruiting nobles to aid in the coming war. Good lady. I too wish to pledge my blade to defend Paris from the heathen hordes. I see. And are you one of our Frisian allies from the barbaric fringes of the kingdom? Yes. I have journeyed a great many days along the coast and down the river. And do you have a signed and sealed writ of audience? Without a proper writ, I simply cannot allow you inside. We must be wary of assassins, you know. Oh, the scroll. I left it in my saddlebags. I shall fetch it. I need one of those noble writs to meet with Odo. One of the guests might have one. Our newest guest has gone mad. He's hiding in a wine cellar. I won't believe it. W Greetings, friends. What is the trouble? One of Odo's guests has got filthy drunk and locked himself in the wine cellar. Shameful. Was he invited here to help defend Paris? Perhaps, but what sort of help can such a lout provide? I am dubious, I tell you. That drunken noble might have one of those reds I need to meet with Odo. Someone! Oh, help me bash down this door! Oh, one of our guests has locked himself in the wine cellar! Let me. Oh, Lord Clovis, you have drunk yourself to sleep after making a frightful scene. Please, show me a kindness and help Lord Clovis outside while I clean up this mess. Nothing to fear. I will carry Lord Clovis outside for some fresh air. This drunk has a paper in his pocket. Looks like the writ I need to meet with Count Odo. I have returned with the writ, permitting me to speak to Count Odo. Excellent. You may enter. And we do appreciate your efforts on our behalf. I need to find Count Odo. Not getting in this way. You see, dear Lord, Odo has trusted me and me alone with the key to his study. How did such an outrage come to be? Because, dear Lothar, I gift him with rare vintages, whole casks from as far away as Greece. Ha! Ah, servant, bring more wine. I shall see to our wine, dear Lothar. Farewell. We shall drive these heathen devils back into the Abyssal Sea. As you say, my lord, but these Northmen are mortal, not demons. They want land and blunder. True. The Northmen are fierce, and the king is slow to defend us. Yet every one of you swore an oath, before God, to defend this realm. 
We will overcome this evil, as we always have. I cannot compel you to do your duty. Your hearts must guide you. Goslan, kindly show our guests out. Come out and say what you wish to say, Eivor of England. You saw me enter. Fair enough. But how do you know me? My scouts speak of a famed warrior with a raven. Do you think us fools? I did not expect such courtesy. Mulled wine, what we call vin chaud. Properly spiced, seated, and served with fruit. My one vice. Wine grapes do not grow in the north. We drink mead. Mead. Eva, you risked much to see me. I respect that. But why? You have land in England, no? I have no wish to settle my people in Frankia. Then how much coin will satisfy your lust? A hundred deniers? A thousand? And after you? Who's next? Ragnar and his sons came here years ago. We bought them off with silver. And they burned Paris anyway. I do not want silver. I want England free of Frankish meddling. We are not part of your kingdom. <laughs> and I would like our kingdom free of Norse meddling, as you call it. But, for argument's sake, what are your terms? As I said, Charles leaves England alone. Second, he embraces Siegfried as an ally. And finally, he lets Siegfried's thanes keep their lands in the north. Rouen and Amiens were my father's lands! You shall never claim my birthright! Your army will never take Paris. And you will never have peace. Not here, and not in England. My men will escort you out. When next we meet, it shall be on the field of battle. Farewell. I must return to camp and tell the others what Odo said. Arrive in time to drink. What do you take? Wine. Much wine. It was a long journey. The hero of Ravensthorpe, the Skalds call this one. Gifted at war and at words, they say. But I see no treasure. Where is all those silver? Have you kept it all for yourself? When, as you said, the man is no reed. He would not bend, would not yield. Franks love to talk, but their words are as empty as the wind. A fierce wind can snap a tree, even one as strong as Odo. Is Charles the wind, or will he break like a reed? Now, two things we must do to carry this siege. First, we shall take some ground for catapults. I will help with this. Somewhere near Paris, I guess. But is it guarded? The Franks lack the men to hold the whole city. Only the walled island, the Ile de la Cité. Still, go with care. Good. And the second thing? Find a flaw in their defenses. A place where our warriors can breach their walls. Or a way for our ships to encircle the island. Some weakness we can exploit. Agreed, but how? Might be that I know a way, but it carries risk. Speak, Zoka. In the slums south of the walls, there is a smuggler, a woman. A Breton lover. <laughs> She's not my lover, just a campfire fling. But if anyone knows the city's weak points, she does. I would go myself, but uh, we... Nolwen, she... They quarreled. The smuggler stole Tolka's necklace before she stole her heart. 
Now Tolka misses her necklace. I will talk to this smuggler and find a weakness in the Frank's defenses. You have my word. Good. All is settled then. No, Uncle. There is another thing. Odo will not see reason, but Charles might. We should speak to him again. You wish for more talking. We should speak to the Fat King. Gain a truce. What? He tried to kill me. Why talk to him again? Those stone walls will not yield. Not without a bloody fight. He may give us silver without half our clan dying on those walls. Perhaps Toga is right. Charles may still yield. Go, niece. Talk to every king and bishop in the land. Just like Eivor the Talker. It matters not, but soon comes the end of talk. Soon the spears will clash and the city will burn. Be ready to fight that day. My word, once given, is never broken. I will fight at your side, secret. Never doubt. Enough! Friends, uncle! We are of one heart here. I will seek the king at the Clever Fox, a tavern on the north bank. Pierre says he carouses there. Toka is a good thane. Someday she may stand in front of an army, like you, Siegfried. I hope so. But for now, she stands with me. Meet me at the bell tower, Eivor, when you are ready to fight some Franks. Instead of talk to them. <laughs> what do you laugh at, Thane? They say you stink of crow shit, hero. But you smell like Frankish piss wine to me. to lay the groundwork for the siege. What to do first? I should join Siegfried at the bell tower. We need to scout some ground for his catapults. Workshop. The perfect place for our catapults. An army of wooden giants to bring down the walls. Those Franks. What are they doing? Ah, they slay another of their own today. For what? Who can say? If a man prays to the wrong god, sleeps with the wrong woman, follows the wrong king, by Frankish law. That man dies. Among the Saxons, it is much the same. Aye, but the Saxons are fewer. They are divided, and they fight both us and the Celts. These Franks, though, united under a great king. It would be like unleashing Fenrir the Wolf upon the world. We are God's priests, and we are good. But if thou do that which is evil, fear! For we beareth not the sword in vain. Who are those two? I've seen that warrior priest with Count Odo before. Gosle and Ebos. Warriors and brothers. One leads the priests of Paris, the other the Frankish armies. For we are God's priests. Avengers to execute wrath upon him that doeth evil. Wherefore ye must- Brother, you talk too much! Ah! Come on. Let us go take that workshop now. Quite a show they put on. We'll have to fight those Franks soon. True, but today is not that day. My men are ready. Come, let's take some ground for the catapults. I would never give my warriors a shameful death like that. Nor would I. But I have met rotten rulers in many lands. You speak true, Siegfried. The Franks have no monopoly on wickedness. Almost there. Now, let us travel light and stick to the rooftops. Breaker is here. Come, man! 
We shall take this workshop and make it our own. We scouted the place. They keep watch, but not well. And the sight lines? A perfect place for our catapults to hurl stones upon that cursed town. Attack! Vengeance or death! A new catapult, Aika, for battle. The crack of wooden stones. This place is heavily guarded. Another place where our catapults can smash down their walls. Eivor, know you the fate of Vida Odinson. A god of vengeance, who fights beside his father in the battle at the end of days. Yes, Vida avenges him. Vida twists the great wolf's neck with his bare hands, then stabs the beast through the belly. So say the Nordnir. Days like today, I walk in the shoes of Vida, avenging my brother. Other days, there is nothing. We will bring those walls down on Odo's head, and I will avenge my brother. It is good. We shall meet back in camp when all is ready, Siegfried. Toka said King Charles carouses at this tavern. Strange to drink and make merry on the eve of war. Madness of the king! The fat king. What other king could I mean? They say he sleeps here. He slept here, he ate here, he drank here, and he left here. Where he went after that? Who am I to say? No luck finding the king. Eivor! No, no luck. Finding such a large, famous man should be easy, but not for me. Come, let us drink. Who are these strange folk? Fools with no shame and no honor. Players who perform for the king. One of these fools may lead us to that greater fool, the king. <laughs> Don't bother. It's like talking to drunks or goats. Or drunken goats. Eivor, I should thank you. Uh, for what? For backing me against Siegfried. He will not talk to the Franks, but we should still try, yes? Yes. And you can do this thing, with or without him. But I failed. Nobody here will tell me where to find the king. What should I do? A wise shield warrior must know both swords and words. Watch and learn. Greetings, good sir. I would offer my sword to your king. Where may I find him? When the great bear was sleeping, the jesters went creeping into the great bear's room. 
The jesters will are drinking, dancing and singing, even if waking the bear spells doom. The bear might be the king, so the king had a room. Pantomime is a naughty boy and a naughty pantomime be he. He drank down wine, he crept upstairs, and he stole the fat bear's key. I found what I need. Charles enjoys the theatre in Amiens. Good. Let us go. No, he may lash out if he meets one of Siegfried's clan. Best I go alone. As you wish. But meet me here when you are done and tell me what he said. by Lucifer, but mortal all the same. Charles, I heard two voices. Who else is back here? No one but me and this weak creature of flesh. <coughs> Forgive me. Talking to that which does not exist opens the door for something that does. This I know. Let me assure you, my demon exists, as does my god. <coughs> Kill me. Make me a martyr king. I should slay you where you stand, for that trick you played on me and the Queen. <laughs> that will not get you what you want, huh? Peace and uh, a free hand in England, correct? Only you can save your people from Siegfried's wrath. If the world were so simple, bread would grow on trees. Odo is a great man. 
with greater ambitions. All of my nobles make demands of me. So does the Pope, and the Greeks, the Slavs, the Saxons, the Saracens. And you, huh? <laughs> you Northmen. You demand land, hostages, tribute. Sometimes the best move is not to move at all. You would let your enemies slaughter one another. I will let my enemies paint God's green earth red with infidel blood. While pious Charles prays only for peace. Is there nothing you want? Yes. By now you know I care not a whit for my barren wasteland of a wife. But your son, Bernard... My only heir. Bring me the prince, unharmed, and I will consider the merits of your offer. Else begun. You want him brought to a dingy theater, where you talk to yourself in the dark? Hmm. No. Present my son to me on the field of battle, before all my men and vassals. Why then? Why wait? My nobles need to see me getting something from you, northerners. Now, until that day dawns, there is the door. You look none the worse for ale. How much did you drink? Not enough to make me enjoy those awful Frankish skulls. But tell me, will Charles sign a truce? He will not even speak to us until we hand over his son, Bernard. But we do not have the bastard boy. No, but I know where the Queen took him. The Plague Ward, south of the city. I will gather my thanes and take them hostage. To seize the Prince lacks honor. We should keep an eye on the boy all the same. Hmm. I know a man of keen eye and light step. Pierre. A wise choice. So, one step closer to breaching the walls and burning a city. Yes. And I do not want this thing. What else can we do? See you back at the camp, Toka. The smuggler owes me wine. Guard my warehouse, she says. Uh, pardon, friend. Did I hear you speak of a smuggler named Norwin? I did. That damn thief promised a jug of wine to guard her warehouse. Oh, and where is her warehouse? It's, uh, over to the east somewhere. Got a play cross painted on it. Thank you, my friend. Perhaps you should sleep it off before going back on guard duty. All right. Good idea. That smuggler owes me wine. Not in my warehouse, she says. And I'll give you a jug of wine. Seems the Queen knows the smuggler. Maybe Rishanis can help me find Norwin. Not your heart be troubled, neither let it be afraid. A heathen monster bearing weapons on our holy ground! A trusted friend, good people, do not break the peace of our church. Who can trust a pagan diable? How many have you killed, fiend? 
Friends, remember. When the good Samaritan saw the beaten man, he had compassion and bound his wounds. You keep busy, Queen. Someone must tend to those who fall in battle. The plague did this, not war. War breeds plague, Eivor. I am not yet ready to return to Charles, if that is what brings you here. No. I seek a Breton who resides in this ward. Name of Norman. I know her! A freelance thief! A disreputable woman, although not without talents. To those who can pay. They say she can smuggle goods and messages over walls and past guards. Yes. So why do you seek this woman's help? Better we take the city before it starves. We will not harm the commoners, if I can help it. But Siegfried the Frankiller leads this army, not you. He inflicts his vengeance upon us, town by town. Because the Franks killed his brother. How many Northmen must die so Siegfried can avenge one man? Should his niece die too? Should you? I cannot stop entire armies. Only urge reason and truce on all sides. I do what I can. You did save my life. I must take that first step and trust you, my good Samaritan. Thank you, Queen. I'm in your debt. I mean that. So, where is this Breton? Alas, I do not know. She visits from time to time. I know! I know the way to Norwin's hideout. Please, let me show Eivor! From the mouths of babes. Very well. But hurry back, little bear. Not so fast, little prince. This place is not safe. Nowhere in France yet is safe now. Mother Richard says so. How is it you know where this smuggler works? Yesterday I went on an adventure and followed her. But she saw me and waved. I felt silly. I've been down this way before. Thanks, Bernard. Get back to the Queen. Bye, Eivor! Have fun, and let's have another adventure soon! Brave friend, but I do not have any silver. Hmm. I am not here to take your silver. I have no quarrel with you. Praise the saints, and I thank you for your fine and timely blade. But I must go. No, you see, I'm a friend of Prishanis, Queen of Francia. And I am married to the Pope. Long may he reign. They say you walk through the city's walls. I need your help. I am no ghost, just a simple bout from Brittany that has lost her way. Look, you are a smuggler. All of Paris knows it. Even the boy prince does. I need your help. And if I know a thing or two about all that, what is it worth to you? My friend Toka wants her necklace back. This I know. There is her chain, friend. Tell her to find me a knot when this is her lover. Toka, she'll hear your words. All is well. 
So what do you need, Northerner? I seek a weakness in these walls. Is there a hidden tunnel, a secret door, something like that? No, no, not so simple. The Frank sealed the city well. But take this key. It will open the bridge door. The bridge? I can reach the bridge from outside. What I could use is a way to take it down. A little silver birdie told me that the bridge's foundations are in dire shape. I see. And if we can take that bridge down, the longships can encircle the city. You did not hear this from me. Farewell. Where is this bridge? It must be near. Markla was right. Some jars of grease will bring this bridge crashing down. I will set up the jars so we can destroy the bridge later during the attack. There, the trap is set for the siege of the island. Better return to the others. No glory. Back and forth south. You. Where are Siegfried and Toga? Ah, uh, battle must be near. The crow has come for the feast. You have a clever tongue, friend. But tomorrow. We all speak in a language older than words. Fate already knows who lives and who dies. Again I ask, where are the others? <sighs> Fetching more catapults for tomorrow's attack. You can wait. I shall wait. Somewhere else. Back out strong red wine, and we are drunk. Bloodlust and battle drunk. Far from home, before another city of strangers. When did our lives become a saga, Sunin? <coughs> yes, I know the day, the very day when mother and father died. Count Odo will not hear reason. Charles plays games. I cannot trust the lives of my people with such men. Queen now. She I could trust, but she lacks power. My place is here. A secret in Toga. Come what may. Eivor, you return. That means all is ready, and we cannot turn back now. Why do you worry? You will collect more swords. I know how to fight other warriors on the field of battle. This is a city. There will be flames. It matters not. Tomorrow we will fight as warriors, not ruthless killers. This I swear upon my honor. Ah, Eivor the Talker. And to whom have you so freely given your word about how my battle goes? I said it. The guards heard it. That is enough. And if I say we burn this city to ashes and feed the crows with children, what say you?
Say what you like, Siegfried. But we are free Thanes, all of us. You are not our Jarl, nor our king. Ha <laughs> ha Good! Good! Keep that fire burning through the night. It shall kindle our vengeance at the break of dawn. Time to go lie on my furs. How do you do that, Eivor? Sleep before a battle, I mean. Easy. I remember my mother's murder each moment. Second, I recall every word the old father ever said to me. And finally, I think upon this war-filled world, and of the next, the hall of endless wonder. Only then do I rest. They say Halfdan Ragnar's son is the strongest of Ragnar's sons. Strong he is. Once he took an arrow in the shoulder, he tore it out and shot it right back. He hit that Saxon through the eye. Today, warriors, we shall take that city and sack it and burn it to the ground. And tonight, friends, we shall feast in Odo's palace, or in Odin's hall, with the choosers of the slain. Now is the time of honor, the hour of our glory! The day of vengeance! King of glory? The Lord is strong and mighty in battle. He trains my hands for war, so that my arms may hold this cross of gold. I shall not yield! Brave Sif, bring the gift of victory. Odin, lend me your helm of art. Vida, feed my need for vengeance of Vanir, Oasir, crush these walls. I am the gate of Paris!
gates have fallen! The city is ours! Spare no one! By Sif and Tyr, the day is ours! Fate favors the brave. Now what, Siegfried? Rush the palace gates! We'll bring the whole place crashing down on Odo's skull! To the palace! Fire and vengeance! Faster! Faster! Catch them off guard! Follow me, Vodian! To hell or victory! Vodians! Ah! Halt! There is a deep illness here. He's dead. They are all Norse. Where are those Frankish dogs? The silence gnaws my guts. Shields up and close ranks! into Odo's trap like a yearling elk. Do not lose heart, Siegfried. Battle is a fickle goddess. Uncle, it is worse. The scouts report that warrior priest, uh... Gosler? Yes, he rallies a large force of Franks in the east, in that church. Damn the gods. They will crush us out in the open. What do we do? Our catapults could hit that church, but they have no way to aim. We should light signal fires on the towers. That will give the catapults something to target. Yes, do it. I will get the wounded out and alert the catapults before rejoining you. Good. And I will take down this warrior priest, Goslin, before he rallies the Franks. Eivor, keep up! We must light those towers!
You foul beast! You Northmen slaughtered my brother! Now, I shall wreak a terrible vengeance upon you. He stood in my way. Now you, too, stand in my way. Oh, Lord God, to whom vengeance belongeth, how long shall the wicked triumph? I send thee, down in Niflheim, where the dragon dwells. Mama, I'm scared. Clear the hall! Hush, child. Shh, hush. Come, Eivor. The fighting still rages through the streets. We need your strength. Then, Toka, killing everyone? It is as I feared. The bloodlust is upon him. He will Roar! slaughter the whole city. If I can reach Count Odo, I can make him surrender to stop this madness. Siegfried's warriors have surrounded the gates to Odo's palace. With Goslan dead, the streets are ours. We are moving the catapults to batter the palace gates down. There must be another way over, under, or around those walls. Nolwen once spoke of a tunnel in the southwest. One way or another, I will get in. On animal lusts today of all days. We may die today. Should I spend my last moment scrubbing floors or making love? May God have mercy on your soul, Amurda. Sneaking through the back door like that. Who are you and what are you doing? Following that love struck maid should lead me into the palace. More share is coming. Need to cloak myself here.
Listen, I am the chief jailer. So if you I say hurry up course. and board those walls, you hurry up and board those walls! Why the Count will not attend to you, I will never know. The mother of his children. To think it's so stubborn, that Odo. And that pathetic Walter du Sens. Too drunk to give last rites. A travesty, that one is. Pardon me. Is that food for Count Odo? No, this is for Lady Theodrat, his wife. She lies at death's door. And who are you in such garb? A healer from Frisia. What happened to the lady? While helping wounded soldiers off the walls, she took an arrow in the belly. Persuade that worthless priest, Walter, to give her the last rites if you can. He's just upstairs. I will see what I can do. Thank you. <coughs> Pardon me, good sirs. Where may I find the Count Odo? Count Odo? Who cares about Count Odo? Where is our good friend Walter de Sens? Oh, why? Who is Walter de Saint? A great warrior? Walter? A warrior? No. He is Count Odo's family priest. He's begging Odo to give us more wine. We plan to be past our drunk by the time the Northmen bust into here. Odo's priest might lead me to Odo. But I need to sneak past these guards to the servant's wing. Do you die a drunk? Pardon me, father. Where is Count Odo? Oh, Odo! His foolish pride will kill us all! Yes, but where is he? Who are you again? No, I can tell you nothing without more wine. Ah, my memory has gone all hazy. Here's your wine. Now do you remember where is Count Odo? Why? Ah, sweet, precious wine. The water of life, the blood of Christ. The fiery flame of the world. The red wine, nothing more. You may have it. Oh, heaven hears my prayer. Now, I can die. Uh, before you do, where is Count Odo? Although, I do not know. But his wife lies wounded in their master bedroom. She may have answers. On the second story, along the main hall. Here, take the key. I lock the door. Thanks. I should head to Odo's bedroom. You, Odo, my love. No. You're too tall. Are you the priest? The light has grown dim. I see nothing but shapes. Father, will you hear my confession? Ah, oh, yes. I am the priest, your lady Ness. Forgive me, Father. I have sinned. In my own pride, I went to battle without armor, thinking God would be my shield. And now I'm dying, and I will never see my sweet children again. Where are they, Father? Are they safe? They uh, are safe with that good man, Walter de Saint. Do not fear. Thank you. But, Father, please, will you carry a message f from a dying woman to her beloved husband? I will, my dear. What should I tell Count Odo? That he is a good man. That he must live for our children's sake. For Paris. For Francia. He must not die for a mad king. 
I promise I will do this, good lady. Where may I find your husband? <coughs> Odo remains locked in his sanctum. His sanctum? Up the landing and across the hall. My husband still hopes Charles will ride forth and save the city. Locked in, you said. There is a key in the bureau. Take it. Help my husband a any way you can. Death creeps upon me now. But slow and quiet. Like a shadow at day's end. Eyelids so heavy. Mother. Where are you? Farewell, good lady. What good are our deaths, my lord? Your lady wife lies dying. Go to her. Your duty as a husband. My duty is here. When Charles and his army arrive, we will join the attack. We will crush the heathens between the hammer of Charles and the anvil of Paris. Leave, Walter. Go comfort my wife as best you can. God, it seems, has chosen a different fate for me. The priest is right. Lay down your arms. Save your city. Among the Northmen, is not death in battle the best way to die? Come, share a glass of wine with a doomed man. I have heard many a warrior cry out for their mothers as their life's blood feeds the ground. I no longer can say if this is the best way to die. Your wife's wound is severe, an arrow to the gut. I saw her. I fear she won't last the night. And I won't last the next quarter of an hour. She said to be strong for your children. Do not throw away your life for a mad king. Look at these works of stained glass. Delicate. Priceless. Evro's artisans spend years crafting each piece. Wondrous works, I grant you that. We brought them here for safekeeping. In the hopes that your invading horde won't smash them to pieces. You tell me to surrender my city? Abandon my honor? You tell me to live out my days as Siegfried's prisoner? What would you do? I would fight. And someday, I will die with steel in my hand. As I know. It is my doom. But today is not that day. And if I put you on your back, bleeding out and crying for your mother? My mother is already dead. Come, no! Bleed from her!
fine blade for a fine warrior. You fought well, Count Dudo. But not well enough. <clears throat> Give me a quick death. Do not make a spectacle of my defeat. Those are not Siegfried's horns. Shar and his army! He arrives in time to save the city. They do not fight. I see a flag of truce. Siegfried and Charles will hold Polly. I must be there. My voice must be heard. As should I. But I am your prisoner. Then I release you on your honor. And trust you to keep our truce. Thank you, Eivor. I shall. Lord Siegfried, I offer a gift of silver as a token of the love and friendship between us. Let us have peace. Silver for a truce. Not a truce, but a lasting bond. I name you my Lord of Rouen, and you bend the knee to your king. I do not kneel to wooden gods, let alone living men. But no matter, let me take counsel. Eivor, thank the gods you live. As do you. Good. I made it inside the palace. Odo would have surrendered the city, but... But Charles showed up with his mighty flag of truce. Aye. And you? After we split up, I took my thames and secured the bastard prince. He's nearby. Safe. Eivor! <laughs> the gods do favor the brave. The lucky and the brave. So it is said. And Charles, he offers us a hoard of silver. Ah, indeed. And all we have to do is sail away. He brings enough treasure to make every Warthane here wealthy beyond dreams. For those who lived. Gambling our lives for silver, that is our way. Now, do we take his offer? By lock his bloody balls, yes. And call him king if it makes the old troll happy. Your battle secret, your choice. I'm here to forge my own truce with Charles. You earned your share of the wealth all the same. Never fear, Eivor. Charles must put his kingdom back together. He cannot attack England after today. Charles, we take your gift, and in return we give you peace. Siegfried. This man, Siegfried, swears to be my loyal friend and protect our lands in Amiens and Rouen. Gosla, Abel, and my wife died defending Paris from these river pirates. And now, you offer them the very silver we paid you to defend us. Are you mad? Wait. We know you are. Let me ask instead. Are you a coward or a fool? Siegfried swears to protect our lands in the north. If you surrender my birthright, you are no king of mine. Count Odo, I bested you in battle and spared your life. Honor the terms of our truce. This heathen knows more about honor than my king. Today has been a good day, but I tire of long speeches. We will take our silver and go. You Franks may stay and pursue your own quarrels. Wait. 
A final matter. Eivor of England, bring forth my son, Prince Bernard. I cannot hand over the boy to one such as you. He is free to go where he wills. You dare defy me? Do you want battle, King? I will take your silver and your balls. Do not wreck our truce over one small boy. Bernard is not any boy. He is my only son and heir. What? Have you forgotten how to make another? This is not over. Eivor of England. Ah, we have won a great victory and a great treasure. Come, we feast. Tomorrow, the Franks will bury their dead, thanking their god that they yet live. And they should, for Paris was merely kissed this time. Should we breach those walls again, we will bear our teeth and bite. And should Charles judge it wise to draw swords against us again, let him remember the glint of our axe blades. Let him remember the red mist on the air, the taste of iron. Enjoy the feast all! A purse full of silver to any who can drink more ale than I! Skull! Like this? What is this? Racing against pigs? <laughs> yes! What is more amusing than watching drunken men race against pigs? <laughs> We've done worse things to entertain ourselves. Would you like to try, Eivor? There is a small price for the winner. Or are you not fast enough? Explain the race to me. Run along the lead pathway as fast as that old swine, Hermod. The first to do two laps wins. Where do I start? A <laughs> good sport, Eivor. You will start here. Run when the pig starts running. To raise the stakes and fun, I will join you too. Ready? But I will catch up soon enough. <laughs> Try. <laughs> Another victory for my saga. Seems your legs were blessed. Uh, no matter the winner, the joy was in the doing. Indeed. And we sure slice open Frankia's belly this time, eh? Now to feast on her entrails. The winnings are worthy of a serpent's lair. And the roads glisten from the dew of slaughter. Yes, though one wonders if such butchery was needed. No lessons today, Eivor. I doubt I will remember them. Listen to my words, Toka. Long after the bodies are buried and the houses rebuilt, the Franks will remember this day. All we have is an uneasy truce for Charles. And glory worthy of our ancestors. <laughs> you are hopeless. That is clear. I took a handsome sword with the fighting. Have it. A keepsake to remember this day by. You honor me. 
I will cherish the blade. By the way, I was glad you did not turn over Bernard. I miss Sinric, but a father like Charles is worse than no father at all. I could not doom the boy. It is not a price I think my clan would have me pay for their safety. Ah, Eivor! Here is something even you have never done. Tossing food for sport. Cheese throwing? The most pungent game of them all. Nastier than Charles himself. You enjoy this? I prefer to eat the cheese, but who am I to question the games of the people? So, want to toss some cheese? How do I win this game? You need to throw at least two blocks of cheese past the green banner. Quite simple. Oh, and you have three tries to get it done. Well, not hurt to try. Should be easy. Just try not to hit anyone. Bravo, Evor! Good throw, Evor! Never underestimate the cheese. Did I underestimate the... You definitely earned the prize, so here, some stray silver from the spoils of Paris. You expected a different outcome. I thought you best for rallying a siege and swinging a sharp stick. Was not sure how you would toss some cheese. There's much about me you don't know, Pierre. Oh, pray tell. What else should I know? Worry not about what I might teach. Right. Plenty to celebrate about this night. Don't let me spoil your fun. Go on. Something was amiss with Siegfried earlier. A little ale may have lifted his spirits by now. Eivor the Talker. Quite a trove of riches, Siegfried. What were you doing with Count Odo? as Charles' army marched on me and my men. I was trying to gain his surrender. What of it? Is it not strange that you met with Odo, Richardis, even Charles himself, and yet all three still walk around with their heads? Everything I've done has been for my clan. It is curious that we must drench our blades in battle sweat to enjoy a night like this. This celebration is not about us and those we killed. It is for our dead, so that we may honor them. <laughs> the Frankish blood, the feasting. I still feel nothing. I find no peace in any of it. You avenged your murdered people. You gained glory in their names. Is that why I did what I did? Vengeance and glory. I wonder anymore why any of us do the things we do. Is it Valhalla? Is it clan? Or maybe we grant ourselves reasons to go from one mead cup to the next. Maybe there are no reasons. And we are no different than wolves driven by some Inner hunger we can never understand. That may be. But for the sake of our peoples, we must continue to act otherwise. No. I do not believe there is a hall waiting for us. This world is our hall. We get but one. I shall not pretend. Frankia's cup overflows with lush farmland, fat farmers and fatter purses. All the more for us to drink. Tomorrow, we quit this place and head south for greater bounties than even a king can grow. We gave Charles our word. 
Our word. You are the one who failed to return his son, Bernard. Have you forgotten? That was different. Charles would have... Fuck Charles! We spared Paris today, but tomorrow we march for Burgundy. And after that, all of Francia. I cannot let you do it, Siegfried. Then stop me. Will it be a home gang then, Wolfkist? I only ask that you honor your agreement. What does a crow starver like Charles know about honor? I owe him nothing. And he owes me everything. No amount of Frankish blood will bring Sinric or the others back. Some wrongs can never be made right. All this talk of right and wrong, honor, as if we can judge, it has no meaning. Can we explain all the blood on our hands, Eivor? Or are we two jesters on this Frankish stage, awaiting our final performance? Draw your weapon. If you want to find peace, this is not the way. You must build fresh bonds. Look forward to something new. Look forward, look back. It is death in both directions. We are but a morning fog that will inevitably lift. Now answer my challenge or dishonor yourself. Your sorrow will linger if you do not face it directly. My blood. The blood of more Franks will be no solve for your grief. It is as if you speak with Sinric's voice. I have been at sea with no stars to guide by since he died. And if your brother were here, what would be his counsel? To move forward. To live. My time here is over. My kin are dead. The ones who remain must decide what is right for themselves. Let it be Toka's time. What will you do? Leave this place. Ask different questions. Forget everything I know and... find a new way. going away then I am going with him no Toga your clan needs you He was not himself since my father died. A solitary man. But never more so than when he stood alone, tasked with rousing our desperate clan. He led well, but all leaders must one day step aside. That, or see others die because they held on to power for too long. When his strong voice echoed in this place, we knew what to do. We had courage, daring.
And his fire still burns in your thoke. Skull. Skull. I lack a taste for mulled wine. Sometimes a leader must drink the thing they wish not to. I have word from Count Odo. What does he want? An audience with Eivor. It is urgent. He says the Queen may be in peril. My spies confirmed this. Charles has been hunting again for her and the boy. What do you think? Odo would not lie. He says it's urgent. I must go. I owe the Queen a debt. And I am honor bound to see this through. Then go. You have fortune's favor, Wolfkist. You sent for me. Said the Queen was in peril. I did. Come with me. Look at these workers. Working happily. Working with pride. The beauty of my family vineyard depends on them. And the quality of the wine is their doing. They are not beasts of burden. They take as much pride in these grapes as I do. I'm not here to admire your vineyard. No. But this is more than a vineyard. It is a vision of Francia. A vision that cannot exist under Charles. Ah, pluck the grapes right on time, Roland. Très bien. Dependable as always. Merci, monsieur. These grapes produce the wine that my vineyard is famous for. I admit, there is an uncommon beauty to these lands. Hmm, <laughs> indeed. Come. I am slower than I once was. My physician says the wounds you have delivered should have taken me. You chose to have that fight. And you fought for your people and for your honor. I do not hold it against you. Any true leader would have done the same. We are more alike than we first appear, Eva. And I will carry the scars to remind me. Go. I feared my message would not get past Siegfried's many axes. Siegfried has left these lands. Those axes belong to Toka Simrixdotir now. That should be cause for celebration. But I fear Toka is yet another devil in a mail shirt. Toka has learned much from Siegfried. Some of what she has learned is how not to be. I hope you are right. Your message said Richardus was in peril. Is that really why you sent for me? These men represent the growing rebellion against Charles the Fat. I now accept the bitter truth that I find more honor and courage in you, Ivar, a northern invader. ...than in my own king. Honor is not bound by country or creed. Indeed. And it seems Richardis also knows this. She and that bastard Bernard are more than mere pawns in Francia's future. Bernard... ...a part of me wanted to hand him over to Charles. What grace you possess prevented you from condemning the boy to a hell in this world. He is better off with Richardis. Where is the queen? She's hiding in a tavern in Amiens. Guarded by my men. But those men have not reported back in... ...too long. I will find Richardis. I'm duty-bound to return the aid she once gave me. And... ...she is my friend. There is... ...one more thing. This rebellion will succeed. And when it does... My path to the throne will be well charted. Your true ambitions. I was a loyal servant to Francia, to Charles, and to God. But Charles has been exposed. You want a Frankish king who will never march on England? I am that king. If I kill Charles for you. If you kill Charles for Francia, we would not forget. No. 
Murdering Charles on the hope it will bring security to my clan is not the kind of deal I mean to make. I misjudged you, Eivor. You stand before your people's best hope. Enough. You offer a promise you cannot keep, Odo. I will go to the tavern in Amiens and find Richardus. Fine. Bonne chance, Eivor. I will pray for you to succeed where my men have not. It was a massacre. Oh. Mon dieu, bodies scattered like children's toys. They say it was a demon. Some city. Hang on! These men must have been the Queen's guard. Tavern Keep, what happened here? Hide! I am not sure it has gone. The monster, so much blood. Just hide! Better to look around myself. How the Queen escaped, but the way enemies got to her. More of Odo's men. They failed to safeguard the Queen. A monk. What was he doing here? A scroll. It has an odd marking. Could have been part of Bernard's studies. A red puppy. Yes. These are Odo's men. The Tavern Keep may know something about this scroll and its markings. There is a dead monk upstairs, and a scroll in a tongue I do not understand. It's uh, probably scripture, written in Latin. The boy prince reads Latin. Bernard? Oh yes, they were here. That monk was his teacher. He's from the church here in Amiens. I heard the Queen tell Bernard to go to the priests and nuns there when he is in trouble. Then I will look in on this church and hope to find the Queen there. along the wall. There is a tower there. And if you climb and climb, you can go right over. Where is Richardus? Where is the queen? The monster. She left with him. You mean the one who slaughtered so many at the tavern? He said we'd be brought to father for something. A test. I was... What kind of test? I... He called it a trial. Yes, that is what he said. A trial by fire. At father's villa, here in Amiens. He means to burn her alive. Go, Bernard. Go to your house in Lister. I will see to Shadis. I can help. I know things. You do not have to hurt my father. He is just... He gets confused sometimes. You must keep yourself safe, Bernard. The fate of Frank here depends on your survival. It will be a grand task for you to sneak all the way down to the Seine alone. This is a hero's burden. Are you up for it? I can do it. Good. Now go. Keep going, and do not look back. I will see to Richardus. Au revoir, Evo. My feet ache. The renovations better be worth all these double shifts. Are we indeed going to be put on time by her own hand? 
husband? The king, you mean? I heard it will be a trial by fire. It cannot be. Surely God will stop this. It appears that God himself is here to bear witness to this trial. May he show infinite mercy on the innocent. And if one is guilty of lying, scheming, committing adultery, may his holy wrath punish your wicked soul. I have nothing to fear from him. It is you, Charles. Who must seek his forgiveness? <laughs> we will soon know who God has blessed with his favor. My guardian angel approaches. That is no angel. Before my king, and before God. It's time I send this Diable back to hell where it belongs. Alive. Stand aside, Bishop. Your god does not bring men back more than once. For Angelwyn! For little mother! For my brother Ebels! I will purge you from this place! The Lord spare me! I am his wrath! I must find Bernard. Bernard is safe. I sent him back to the house in Lucerne. Once again, he uses you. 
You radiate God's grace, Eivor. You mistake grace for the flash of victory. Poor Bishop Guzla. I will pray for his soul. He served the Lord the best way he knew how. Charles and I need to talk. It may be the last time he talks to anyone. No. He is a wounded man who was tortured as a child. Burnt and burnt again. His whole life is fear. Fear of fire. Fear of God. Fear of disloyalty. He deserves mercy. Not a moment ago, he was to have you burned alive. What would you have me do? Spare him. Subdue him somehow. I can take him to a remote cottage in the east, where he will receive priestly guidance. There! We can live out quietly while I continue to prepare Bernard to succeed Charles. I assure you, he will grow up to be a ruler without ambitions for England. Spare Charles, and your people will be safe. Charles has dishonored all of his allies and his people. I will not swear an oath to spare him. This is folly, Evor. Killing Charles will not assure the safety of your people. If not... Let it avenge all the Norse he has felled here in Frankia. Father, bless these men who stand humbly in your judgment. This is madness. The angel, the, the saint, the one who shimmers with the Lord's light. And so they were right about me. All of them were right. I know. We are what they say. It has always been us. Even as they seared me, I feigned to be purged of all demons. <laughs> But I knew. No amount of burning would rid me of you. And burn me they did. Below this scarred flesh, you were still there. You were still here. You have always been here. I embrace you, demon. Louder. We are the demon. We are... 
I am not the only demon who lurks in these chambers. Him before. Maybe he will rise from the dead again. You will flee! done to you. It did not have to be this way. His death is payment for the many he has killed, and of mercy for those he was yet to. Speak not of mercy while his blood is still warm. What you have done was driven by selfishness and anger, not mercy. Charles was a threat to my clan. He was mad beyond reason. And should your clan be a threat to one of your neighbors, I hope God grants them the wisdom you lack. Now leave us. A bond with you northerners. Unlike him, my word can be trusted. Ha! You are no more than a wounded dog at my table looking for scraps. How dare you! Wait! Eva! Finally, we can talk sense. What of Richard is? Did you encounter Charles? Richard is yet lives. Charles does not. This is an unexpected gift! That makes today a day for our celebration! Skull! 
Skull! Skull! Sante! It has been curious to know you, Eivor. You are as enigmatic as any Northerner I have met. He is hoping there are more like you. I must go now and attend the throne. I wish you a safe journey back to England. Your greatest challenges lie before you, Count Odo. I hope you have the strength. As do I. Is it wise to put our trust in him? You can bargain with him, Toka. I know it will be strange to ally with someone secret hated so. But he will keep to his word, and... I know, I know. Leaders drink the wine and so on. <laughs> you were listening. I have much to consider. Stay true to your honor and bring glory to your people. If you do that, you cannot fail. I will send word should the Franks grow an appetite for England again. To your relations with Odo, consider returning to him the lands that Charles pledged to Siegfried. No. Those lands are compensation for the hardship he has caused us. Odo kept Paris. That is enough. You sound more y'all like all the time. And now I must think of my own people, whom I have been away from for too long. Before you go, have this. It was my father, Sinrix, the second best leader and teacher I have known. It has been my honor. I hope to lead as well as you do, Eivor. If ever you hunger for more Frankish cheese, I will be happy to share. <laughs> Farewell, Toga. Are we safe? It will be many winters before Frankish troops land on the English shore. My spies say Paris fell. It did. But the situation is thornier than that. In what way? I killed the Mad King, Charles the Fat. Odo, the Count of Paris, means to take the throne. Is that good for us? Time will tell. But Odo is an honorable man, and he has a kingdom to rebuild. That is comforting. We also have a hardy ally in Toka Sindrikstotje. She is young. And a quick study. <laughs> She'll be right by us. Perhaps they need not know the danger we face. We came home with bounty, glory, and some Frankish foods. I can ask the raiders to keep their tales to that. They will say everything, and then some. <laughs> Afraid so. <laughs> New strength comes to weathered halls. Now I can rest. <laughs> 